Hello, Jason here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build, how to construct, how to make your very own concrete septic tank. So what do I mean by concrete septic tank? Well, have a look at it. So here you can see a gallery of images of different concrete septic tanks, and they come in various shapes and sizes and designs. You can get round ones, you can get square ones, rectangular ones, but one of the most popular designs that people are making today, not only in the UK around the, and, uh, but also around the world, is a rectangular shaped concrete septic tank. So I'm going to show you how to build your very own concrete septic tank. Now, before I start, I'm not going to talk about sizes today, right? Because it's a whole topic for another video. The size of the septic tank will be based on the number of people going into it, the number of bedrooms you've got, the size of the land that you've got to dig a hole in to put the tank into. All I'm going to do today is show you the principle of how to build uh, your very own septic tank and the stages in which to do it. So let's get straight into this. So the first thing that you need to do is to dig a hole. Once you've done that, you then put your concrete base at the bottom of the hole. Now, you can buy these pre-made, these different sections and just bolt them together, or you can create a frame, a template, a kind of mold in which to pour the concrete in, and then when it's set, you have your different sections. So it's up to you how you go about that, but these are the stages uh, of the septic tank construction. So once you've put your base down, you then erect your sides. So you start with side uh, one, start, then you put in side two, then side three, and then side four. All right, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove side four because um, you won't be able to see me building the inside of the tank otherwise, the internals. So anyway, once you've done that, the next thing that you do is put the partitions in. I'm going to show you what the partitions are for. A little later on and you can put one partition in you can put two partitions in but basically what they do is they create compartments so there's compartment one you've got compartment two and you've got compartment three now how as i said how many baffles you put in is entirely up to you most people put one in um it is popular at the moment for two to go in but two or three baffles inside your tank will create, as I said, three or four compartments. The more compartments, the better. And again, I'll show you why in a minute. Now, once you've put your baffles in, the next thing to do is to then put your, connect your pipe, your inlet pipe from your um, property into the, the tank. And this can be done by um, a hole saw. It's like a saw. Uh, it's got, it's got, um, it's a round a hole drill actually is the proper name and it's got teeth around it's circular it's got teeth on it and it's about 110 mil and that just drills straight through uh, the concrete panel that you've got then once you've done that inserted that you then uh, attach a t-piece to the end of the pipe and then when once you've done that you then follow suit and put t-pieces and pipes onto the partitions uh, inside the septic tank and then on the outlet of the septic tank so just zooming in here there you can see there you've got your t piece t pieces there on that partition you've got them here on this partition and of course you've got them on the outlet pipe as well okay so once you've done that it's then time to put the roof of the septic tank on there you go now as you'll notice it's got three holes um, on top of the roof this is because um, below each hole is obviously a chamber so three holes four three chambers once you've done that you can then put the lids on the tank so you've got lid one you've got lid two and you've got lid three so there you go that is basically how to construct a septic tank so if I just put the side on here this is what it will look like when it's finished there you go so it can typically take you two or three hours to make a septic tank especially if you've bought the components um, 
pre-flat uh, packed as it were and then all you've got to do is assemble them if you're actually making it uh, from scratch you know and actually uh, making the templates and stuff yourself you know the wooden templates to pour the concrete into can take at least a week to do because you've got to allow uh, time for the concrete to set but let me just show you how it works then so if I just go here and we remove the side panel here as I said inside you'll notice that each of the uh, T pieces they step down so one starts uh, at a particular height then as they go through the different partitions the end T piece is a is a lot lower and what this what this does it has two main uh, functions so if I put the water in all right so into compartment one you'll get all the poo and the grease and the fat and the wee and all the wastewater and the T pieces basically stop the fat and the grease and the sludge going into the next compartment. So if we put the next fill the next compartment up, you'll see that the water is um, there's not as much water in the second compartment, but also the water in that second compartment will be a lot cleaner than in the first compartment because the the baffles. Uh, the T pieces act as filters, right? So they trap the solids in whichever compartment they came from. And then by the time it gets to the third compartment, as you can see, the water will be a lot lower. This is because you're using gravity, right? To, um, to create that flow. So the water comes in, it goes down your stairs, and then it goes out through the outlet pipe towards the soakaway. So that's basically the function of a concrete septic tank so i hope this video has helped you today i know it's been pretty short pretty brief but nevertheless it's uh, many people are looking to uh, uh feeling adventure and uh, adventurous enough to create their own septic tank that's basically how to do it and i really recommend it that's one of the first septic tanks that i created when i got into the business uh, built um a three chamber septic tank and they're a lot of fun to build so if you've got a week spare um, then please let me heartily recommend that I, I seriously recommend you have a go at it if you feel confident enough so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today if you'd like to see more free videos uh, giving different help and advice on septic tanks so go through treatment plants and just go to septic tank uk or you can go on to google and type in septic tank tv you'll see my youtube channel there and if you subscribe to my septic tank tv youtube channel you'll be in with a chance to win um, a flat packed um, kit septic tank concrete septic tank kit which you can just install um, in your own garden or someone else's garden whatever but the point is you've got a chance to win that if you subscribe to my septic tank tv channel so listen thank you very much for watching this video today you take care and I'll speak to you soon. For more information, just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.